With the ongoing rollout of 5G, businesses are said to be able to do much more, much more quickly. But with this new technology comes added cybersecurity concerns. Here with more on how companies can safeguard their data in this new 5G world is Rupesh Chokshi, VP of AT&T Cybersecurity. Thanks so much for joining me today, Rupesh. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Thank you. All right, so can you detail for us the risks that are out there from a security standpoint with the rollout of 5G? So I think we should take a look about, you know, in terms of, you know, what's happening in the enterprise space, right? So the 5G networks are being rolled out by AT&T and other service providers to kind of deliver on the promise of, you know, high speed latency, you know, more devices coming onto the network. And then you think about, you know, what is that security posture looking like? If I'm an enterprise, right? I have a lot more devices coming onto the network, more endpoints coming onto the network my use cases, my blueprints are gonna look very different. So that brings you know, the threat vectors into a very different kind of landscape, right? So think about, you know, we're seeing a lot of DDoS attacks uh, you know, in recent times. We're seeing you know, ransomware attacking to a very specific industry like healthcare during what we are going through right now. So uh, we see a combination of you know, very sophisticated that is utilizing the the network technologies over the sort of you know the mobility networks, and then we see some of the very classic, which is you know more attacking a certain type of industry from all the different areas. People make mistakes, right? You know, an employee clicked on an email, which started something that was very difficult to contain. So uh, a lot of education is needed, and uh, a lot of understanding of how going to go about it is very important. Yeah, and I think at the start of 2020, uh, everyone thought we were already very much so in the digital world. And now with the changing habits that we've seen, we are even more so in a digital world. 2020 has been huge in terms of the widespread adoption of new technologies. So it seems like these cybersecurity threats are only set to increase as this adoption continues. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, uh, <laughs> I sometimes joke with my team that, you know, we're like, uh, on the on the good guys team and then there's like this bad guys team and it's become a, a industry right i mean it's very organized you know a, a lot of um, you know hacker talent that is focusing on making a living uh, through that so i think uh, you know it's going to continue i think part of it is uh, you know the digitization right so the business processes are getting digitized everything that we do in terms of the commerce and, and how we are interacting is all the sort of, you know, data and information moving over the internet networks, right? Whether it is uh, the, the personal health or the financial transaction or something as simple as, you know, what people are posting on social media, right? So all of this information combines and in kind of like, you know, attacking the identity of the individuals or attacking, you know, utilizing very sophisticated uh, software technologies to penetrate into enterprise networks uh, for different reasons, malicious reasons, et cetera. We're gonna continue to see that, right? And uh, it's uh, part of what we do and part of what we need to do together as an industry is to keep getting better and better at it. Right, so how prepared do you think companies are right now to tackle these new concerns and what should they do to further protect themselves? So, you know, there's a couple of data points, which is very interesting, right? So one is, uh, you know, 60% of the enterprises uh, uh, are, are evaluating how they can develop a competitive advantage utilizing the 5G and the edge technology, right? So they're all thinking about what can I do differently? How can I make my, you know, business more uh, productive, more efficient, more competitive? Uh, and then you think about, you know, how many of those enterprises or individuals are actually kind of prepared with their security posture and that number goes down significantly, it's like 10%, right? So I think there's a lot of opportunity in terms of, you know, preparing and learning and it goes back to what I was mentioning, which is the blueprints are very different, right? How you're going to do your data shift, the workload shift, you know, the adoption of private public cloud, the adoption of, you know, applications that are sitting on the edge of the network, how you deal with sort of, you know, low latency applications, the security posture that you have to apply in all of these cases is going to be 
very different. And you know, working with somebody who can help and guide through that is going to be very important. Now, how do you think companies can balance this big importance of security with making it a seamless process for not only their employees, their business partners, but also their customers to be able to comply with these stricter security measures? Because I think sometimes that's that's the issue, right? Is with uh, added protocols, there's added frictions there. So what do you think can be done about that? So compliance top of mind, right? In terms of, you know, if you're a part of a certain industry, you have to follow the regulatory compliance, right? And, uh, you know, how you share information, what information is available for who to access, how do you transmit that data and information is very important. Uh, so think about, you know, compliance as kind of following what is needed for the industry, but then there is a very important sort of, you know, security compliance and posture that needs to be, you know, taken seriously for the enterprise, right? So in my case, you know, what we do is we have a number of different things at at and where we focus on what are our employees learning and training, right? So a constant reminder on things they should be aware of and what we need to do. How do you kind of, you know, monitor and manage all of the different accesses to systems, to data, and, you know, this concept of zero trust, right? In terms of, you know, what information is available to the user, to the application, at what time, at what transaction. So putting all of that together and deploying a zero trust environment, a secure environment is going to be important, which ties back to the compliance, both in terms of the industry that you're in, but also setting up the processes uh, internal to your enterprise. Yeah, well, it's very important. And we've seen what has happened when organizations aren't prepared and uh, cybersecurity can get the best of them. So it's a very important topic and we really appreciate you sharing your perspective today. Great, thank you so much. All right, and to learn more about 5G and cybersecurity stocks to watch, head to investors.com. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alyssa Corum. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.